Do you understand that the word dismantle or police free also makes some people nervous? For instance, what if in the middle of the night my home is broken into? Who do I call? Yes, I mean, I, I hear that loud and clear from a lot of my neighbors. And I know, and, and myself too, and I know that that comes from a place of privilege. You've said that to get to end white privilege, you have to, you have to deal with racism first, right? It is critical for, for white people, for people uh, in general, to, to stop denying their, their racist ideas. Not enough to leave up a message. Not, not a great way to use your white privilege, ladies. I work for Black Lives Matter. My CEO has told me to come out today and to bring you on your knees because you have white privilege. So if they see that a white person is getting on their knees, that shows solidarity for the situation the situation and could you just please apologize for you know for your white privilege just apologize i am i'm trying to think of the right words to say because that's a that's a big thing to say it's it's big when was the last time you were passed up for a job because your name didn't seem professional enough to recruiters do you want to talk fair maybe actually talk to a person of color about their experiences with white privilege and then check yourself it's the privilege bridge what's that it's a metaphor for explaining how some people have advantages and opportunities granted to them just because how they were born. Whoa. Not gonna discuss, oh, maybe some of us have worked it out. No, you're always gonna be racist, actually. Hello, my name is well-off white person. I just don't understand why everything has to be about race. Petition for white boys to stop making and listening to rap music. Stop, stop, it's not yours, you don't own that, stop. That y'all are born into a life to not be human, and that's what y'all are taught to do, to be demons. So, in this particular way, white people are all racist. Because I am white, I walk the streets with a different mindset. I'm not scared the way black people are, and it takes me screaming right now to talk to a group of men! Excuse me, if y'all didn't know, this is the MSC, and frankly, there's just too many white people in here and this is a space for people of color so just be really cognizant of the space that you're taking up because it does make some of us pocs uncomfortable when we see too many white people in here we are privileged as you 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 have no idea a life of luxury you don't even know me you know nothing about me you're an idiot. You're gonna defy me by skin color. You're a fool. Because um, I'm like really embarrassed to be here with you because this is just another example of white privilege, using your white privilege. And um, what are you gonna do with it other than come into this space and take? Do you believe white privilege exists in this country? Yeah. Then how did Obama become president? How does it feel to have white privilege? Well, I think being white, I don't necessarily feel it. I think it's something that other people are noticing and wait wait you don't know that you're white